Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with another stock market investing video. Today we have an excellent day. It looks like everyone's making money. I'm only up about 1% to 2%. You know, I've seen some people up just 6% just today, 3% just today. So congratulations on everyone who is making money today. Um, that being said, I want to talk about some things that are going on right now. Apple, I want to talk about Apple stock and if you guys should be buying, if you should be holding it for the new 5G iPhone news to be coming out and the event. I want to talk about banking stocks a little bit because they have earnings coming out and um, as well. I took out an option, as you'll see, on Bank of America as well. I usually don't do options, but I took a small one out on Bank of America, so we'll go over that. And then also, let's talk about Facebook and Google and Amazon and maybe even a little bit of Tesla stock and where they're headed as well. And All right, so first off, let's talk about Apple stock up about almost 6% today. Wow, look at that. So obviously what's going on is it's pricing in the news, the good news of the 5G stock. You know, the, the stock market is very forward thinking as well. So it's definitely pricing in some news already. So I don't think it's gonna be going up like another 6% tomorrow. Um, I think it's a good idea to hold if you are an Apple and don't sell yet because I think we can see the stock going up another 2 to 3% tomorrow. But as you see, it's on the way back down right now. So if it goes from 7% all the way down to 4%, it ends at 4% gain today, you know, it, and it just goes up 3% tomorrow, it's still going to only be at $125, the price share tomorrow. Um, so if you were able to sell at 125 it was probably a good idea. So I would recommend holding until tomorrow, until the news comes out. And then after about midday tomorrow, we can go ahead and sell if you are holding on to Apple stock. Depending on the news that is released tomorrow, we can see a huge spike in the stock, maybe even another 5%. Um, so I would actually read some articles, what we can expect from the stock and read all this stuff and see if they exceed expectations. And if Apple ends up exceeding expectations, it might be a good idea to hold for even another day as well, because then it'll just ride that good news that was unreleased during the presentation. All right, so next let's talk about Facebook and Google, some of my two favorite big tech companies. So what you'll see here is I'm up about 38% on Facebook. We're up about 5% today almost. And this is going to be a good long-term hold. Um, I would put a price alert around them around six, uh, about 268 would be an awesome price point. I could see them, you know, going up because they're due to actually go up. And if we even get the news about the stimulus and getting stimulus passed, I can see all these stocks rallying to all time highs and new all time highs too. So if Facebook gets to 280, 290, um, even 300 again, that's going to be big news for the stock market and we can actually see another correction as well. And it looks like Facebook and a lot of other stocks as well just beat some previous resistances they had in the past as well. They just passed them. So that's always a good sign that we're going to keep going up as well. All right, so the next one's Google. You'll see we're up about 4% here, which is a good sign. And Google's one of the ones kind of like Facebook. They're a little bit undervalued i wouldn't say undervalued but not as overvalued as some of the other big tech stocks as well um let's you can kind of see the last resistance was around 1535 and it did pass that as well so we can see google rallying here along with facebook along with amazon and along with apple as well and we have amazon next and you might have heard like fang stocks f-a-a-n-g stocks and that's going to be Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google thing. Um, we're not really going to talk about Netflix today, but Amazon is going to be a great one to actually be looking for as well. Uh, they're a little bit overvalued in my opinion, just like how Apple is as well. I would put a price alert on this one around 2900 2800 is a good price point to try to get in on this one at. Now, will it go back down that far? Um, you know, we don't know and it, it might not, but you know, I'd love to see it get around that to actually for me to go ahead and go out of my way and buy this stock as well. So if you read some of this, you'll see banks set aside tens of billions of dollars to cover uh, loans. And then you'll also see banks have good fundamental health. And then if you go to the next one, they have enough set aside to handle potential uh, state of d distress and 
profits should be higher in the third quarter uh, than the second. And then you'll also see are all expected to show a rebound in per share earnings from the prior three months, according to analysts as well. Um, net income for baking industries, it took a 70% plunge. So again, just to recap, I think holding Apple is going to be a good idea if you already own it. I think we can see it going up to like a hundred and maybe a hundred and twenty seven dollars a share, you know, close to an all time high, a hundred and thirty, a hundred and twenty seven dollars a share as well. And then banking stocks, keep your eye out on them. I took an option out on BAC. I think it's only like a sixty dollar option as well. So I don't risk a lot on options. You know, I don't even like to go over a hundred to two hundred dollars on my options as well. And guys, make sure you're also watching the full video on YouTube. That's probably the only way you're watching this far into the video if you're on my YouTube as well. So make sure you subscribe because on my Instagram, it's just kind of clips and segments too. So if you like the full videos, leave a thumbs up on the YouTube video and comment below on what your plans are for. So guys, I hope that video did help you out a little bit. If you're holding Apple stock, if you're looking at to get into banking stocks or even looking to get in maybe the FANG stocks as well. If you guys need help on exactly what to buy and my close friends group, hit me in the DMs. I'll be more than happy to help out. And remember, don't time the market, buy the market, guys. Peace.